Hello everyone, today my video is a bit different. It's something that I've been working on for quite a while now, since September 10th, and it's a paludarium. So what it, what it is, is basically a closed ecosystem, which has an aquatic aspect to it and a terrestrial aspect, and it's completely closed off. Well, right now this isn't completely closed off, this is just temporary, it's some sort of plastic sheets, and I put the lid over it, but the lid has holes. So the plastic is what's closing it right now, but that I'm going to fix that by the next video. It's going to be completely sealed off correctly. So how I made this was I just went out to the thrift shop and I bought a terrarium. Then I got the rocks. I got, I went to a lake and I got water. I didn't boil the water or anything because I want everything that's alive to stay alive inside of it. I ordered some moss online and I went to a nursery to get some houseplants that did well in humidity. So I have a coffee plant, a Chinese money plant, and a weeping fig. Then over here, these small little green things, those are all basil seeds that I sprinkled on top. And they actually sprouted really quickly. They only took about three days to come out. And that little plant over there that looks like pine needles, I'm not sure what that is. I just found it in my backyard. The moss, I'm not a moss expert. I don't think it's doing that good, but I don't think it's dead either. It was kind of like this when it came. Because where I live is hot, it probably got dehydrated during shipping and the lighting isn't really... I think the lighting is making it look more dead than it actually is. But it is sort of green, just not very vivid. So the animals that I have in here, for the land I have pill bugs, also known as roly polies. I have these land snails that I found in my backyard. They're really small. I'm not sure what they're called. I couldn't figure it out. Let me see if I can show you those snails. Here's one. Focus it right there. I don't know if the camera's focusing. But it's really cool. They actually, it's like they've been drawing up here. They'll focus all those little paths. That's from the snails, and there's their poop on here also, so you know it's from them. I've seen them crawling on. I know it's their work. The snails, I only have um, about six snails in here. The pill bugs, I have about seven, but I haven't really seen them for a while. I don't know if they're okay. I think they are. I think they're like under the moss and the bark. But this is kind of a bridge that I built. The other plants that I have are the duckweed, which is aquatic. Then I also have, actually I think that's it for the plants, but I have mold. That's not a plant, but it's, I don't know, that's because of the humidity. And you know, that's not, oh, I also have that fungus on the back lot. It's orange. I'm not sure what that is. It's kind of like hair, but... Yeah, I don't know. It's a type of fungus for sure. I'm just not sure what it is. But so far, it seems like it's been going to plan. I also have these fungus gnats in here. I'm sorry. I'm, I don't have an actual camera. I'm just recording with a phone. So it's not the best quality. But I have these fungus gnats in here. And then also, I just realized right now that it's like there are these little sort of eggs on the leaf. Maybe that's from them. I'm not sure. I didn't think that the, any flying insects would survive in here. I thought maybe the humidity would make it hard for them to fly. But it seems like they're doing just fine. Every day I come back, I see more. So in the water at first, when I got the water, I didn't see much of anything in there except for some Daphnia and some water bugs, some little black bugs that were jumping on the surface. But then a couple of days ago, out of nowhere, I don't know if you can see that algae, it's like brown algae, sort of. And it's full of these little, uh, let me see if I can show you. These, you see those little white dots? Those are moving, those are alive. I'm not sure what those are. They look kind of like just white lines to me. I also have Daphne on here. You can see them more on this side, but I don't know if you can see them right now. They're pretty small, but they're bigger than those specks are. Sorry, it keeps getting out of focus. But anyway, they are in there. They're not the big type of Daphnia. I think they're Daphnia. I'm not 100% sure. That's what they look like to me. 
but I don't have a microscope or anything. And also, I have these aquatic snails, they're called bladder snails in here. And they actually, yesterday I noticed that, oh my god, I'm so sorry, I can't get it to focus, that they laid eggs, which are those little things. And it's really cool because they're see-through. And if you look at them, you can actually see the babies moving around. Yeah, that little small thing over there, that's what I think is a Daphne I'm moving in the water. Okay, so, yeah, but you can see the little babies moving around in circles in the egg sacs, so it takes about a week for them to hatch. But that's a great sign that, you know, they're reproducing in there. So, let me see if I can find one to show you of the snails. Oh, right there on the log outside of the water. Well, they're semi-aquatic, I guess. They can come out of the water. And the really great thing about them is that they don't even need a mate to have babies. All of these snails, the, sn the bladder snails I actually had at my own house in my aquarium. So I started off with one snail, then I got like a thousand snails, so I put a few of the snails in here. Yeah, They can mate, but they don't have to. So... I mean, they're not really genetically diverse, these snails, but I mean, they, they seem like they're fine. I don't know. There's another one in the water over here. Again, I'm sorry, I can't get it to focus, and I don't have a tripod or anything. But I hope that you get the point. So what I used to make this, I'm going to try to put the pictures at the end, because I did take pictures of me making it. But basically, I went out to a park. I got the closest thing to sand that I could find to line the bottom. Then I found these really big rocks. I bought some soil, but I also used soil from outside. And I did, I tried to make activated carbon. It didn't work. I couldn't find it anywhere. And it was kind of expensive online. So I just, I had fish filters. So I just used one fish. I know it's not really going to do anything. One fish filter, but I sprinkled it around over here. The activated carbon from that. Then I use these pebbles for drainage because I don't want the plants to get too soaked. And then another, my main theory for this, it's not really supposed to be pretty. I mean, I'm, I'm glad, I'm happy with how it turned out. It looks better than I thought it would. But my theory is that if it has more open space, more open air, then it's going to be a more stable environment. And right now, to be honest with you, I put way too much in here, especially with the water. But I don't know, it just... I couldn't make it the way I wanted to make it because I was like, I just don't have the skill to make what my vision is, if that makes sense. But if it was, if I could have done it better, I would have had less water, less land, just more open space. Because that's how I think it's best. But I think it's still, it's still pretty good. It still has a bunch of open space. The animals are doing well. The plants are doing well. The only problem is that there's mold, but... That's fine because there's more plants in there, so it's not going to take up too much oxygen. All right, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I'm going to be doing updates on this. Um, if you know what these little things are, you can please tell me because I'm really interested in, and I have no idea what they are, but I mean, they look pretty cool. There, I'm glad there's something in here. And I guess that's about it. Thank you for watching.